start of August, 70 deep water whales have washed up dead on Scottish and Irish beaches. Many of the animals were Cuvier's beaked whales, deep divers, which are normally found far out in the Atlantic Ocean. Researchers have been trying to work out what caused their deaths. One theory is that military activity and sonar signals in the Atlantic may have played a part. Our Scotland correspondent Lorna Gordon reports from the Inner Hebrides. The islands along Scotland's west coast have become a graveyard for Cuvier's beaked whales. In one month, more washed ashore here than in the previous 10 years combined. And scientists are trying to work out why they died. It's not a natural occurrence. Is it concerning and what's happened? It's very concerning, very, very concerning. It is possibly the highest ever mortality, as a recorded mortality for this particular whale species ever, anywhere in the world. Cuvier's beaked whales are creatures of the deep. They can dive to depths of almost 10,000 feet. Research has shown they are sensitive to sound. After a spate of strandings in the Canary Islands, the use of sonar close to land there was banned. Since then, they've seen no bodies. Those involved in the investigation here will be scanning ear bones taken from the remains to look for trauma caused by excessive underwater sound. They're also looking at samples to rule out infectious diseases or contaminants. These whales had already been dead for several weeks by the time their bodies reached land. But the fact they washed ashore in such a short period of time points to the possibility that a single event caused their deaths hundreds of miles out into the Atlantic. So could underwater noise or sonar be the cause? When groups of beaked whales strand across tens of kilometers of coastline within a few hours, that's been associated with naval anti-submarine warfare exercises. And it appears that the sonar that, the, that they use to hunt for submarines triggers a panic reaction. They may disrupt their diving so they get decompression sickness. They then die at sea and may wash ashore. The British military have been asked to help in tracking down any source of noise in the ocean around the time of the animals' deaths. The problem that we have is that they can only re report on what they have been doing. They're not responsible or, for that matter, even have the information about what has been going on by other agencies within NATO. The Royal Navy says it takes its responsibilities in safeguarding the environment very seriously and when possible operators take avoidance action should animals be detected before or during sonar operations. There's increasing awareness of the effect plastic has on marine life. It's possible there may soon be proof that noise pollution in our waters can be deadly too. Lorna Gordon, BBC News, Tyree. Amazon says it is to increase the wages of its lowest.